Okay everyone, it's time for another telescope tour. What have we got? We got this one. This is VISTA, which stands for Visible and Infrared Survey Telescope for Astronomy. I think they just chucked that A on the end because it made a cooler name. The V's also maybe uh, doesn't belong there as well because they don't do any visible astronomy with this. They only use infrared at the moment, but I don't know. Maybe it was going to be visible at one stage, I'm not sure. But we're going to go inside and have a look. By the way, where we are, we're on a peak, sort of a sub-peak at Paranal. If you look over there, that's the main Paranal peak above that car with the VLT on top. You can just see the VLT telescopes. This sub-peak is actually... Some people at ESO, not everyone, call it the NTT peak because there's a telescope called the New Technology Telescope which was going to be built here. And I wasn't in the end, but they still call it the NTT peak. I like these little details. Anyway, let's go inside. So it's dark in here at the moment, but Laura's got a torch and she's going to go and switch the lights on for us. Oh, there we go. You probably won't hear me very well in here because the air conditioning is so loud inside Vista, but we'll do our best. So we're moving up the steps. We can hear the familiar sound of compressors, like you often hear with any infrared telescope. The liquid nitrogen is needed to keep everything cool. And here we go. Here's the telescope. I think that must be its backside. Let's move around here and see if I can see the front side. Oh yeah. Lovely. What a great looking telescope. So let me introduce you to Vista. It's really amazing. And we can get up reasonably close here. This is brilliant. So you can see there, there's a monster of a primary mirror. 4.1 meters across. You can't really tell, but it's also very, very concave, like a big bowl. Just about the most curved mirror of the, well, I was gonna say the most curved mirror of its type in the world, but you don't get many mirrors of these types. So anyway, it was made in Russia. There's a piece of information for you. The light comes off that. Now the secondary mirror is really close to it. You can see the secondary mirror attached to its big mount there, its big tube. We can't see it from here. And it's really, really close to the primary mirror. Very short focal length. And unlike some of the other telescopes you see in these videos, there's no tertiary mirror. The light goes off the secondary and then straight down that hole, down to the Cassegrain focus, to the back of the telescope. So let's go and have a quick look at that. We'll walk around. That disc there, that's the azimuth that turns around, turns the telescope. And there's another there. That's actually part of the enclosure because the whole enclosure of the telescope turns. So that moves as well. And this part we're standing on here in the middle, that's the only part that doesn't move. Let's get around the back here. There's the camera on the back. I think it's something like 64 megapixels, or it's, it's something crazy. The Vista camera for taking wide angle shots of the night sky. Let me move around and show you a bit better. There it is. That is a monster of a camera. I've got this little thing around my neck. And they've got that. It's a really cool looking telescope. It's really sort of squat and stubby, just like you'd expect a wide angle lens to be. Let's come back around the front. I'm gonna to talk to you a bit more about what it does. Really good, it's, we're lucky that it's kind of pointing down like this. We get to sort of see inside a bit. Now apparently the camera covers one and a half degrees of the sky, I believe I was told. And that's about three times the diameter of the moon. And when it comes to these type of telescopes, that's very wide angle. So basically they're doing big surveys of the sky, like creating huge maps, plotting where everything is for astronomers all around the world to use. They're doing it in the infrared spectrum, not visible light. The enclosure is pretty normal for these telescopes. You know, we've got the split down there, the aperture that opens up each night. We've got wind shutters here that then open up. You know the drill by now. Cool telescope, like I said, really kind of stubby and short compared to a lot of the others. If I come around here, you get a better idea of that. Really unusual to see the primary mirror there, so close to the secondary there, really short little gap. I like it. 
it's the last telescope I've come to look inside here while at Paranau and uh, I was getting a bit of telescope fatigue but this one's really cool. So I'm outside Vista now. Let's just have another look at the geography here. Across to there we've got the VLT on the main peak. I'll zoom out a bit I'll keep walking because over here it's going to get a bit bright but let me show you. That's the view out to the sea. I think it's like only, it's not that many miles, 10, 15 miles away. There's all cloud there over the Pacific. It's pretty much always cloudy there over the Pacific down low and then up here in the mountains it's pretty much always clear like it should be. There's Vista again, catching the last of the light before beginning its work for the night. <laughs> 